Hello everybody, this is Hop to the Hippity Hop bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary. And I am so sorry, I haven't brought a cast to you guys in about two days. I've been pretty busy over the weekend. Um, and actually, I was rooting for the Seahawks yesterday, if anyone was watching football. And we had a pretty miraculous victory against the Saints. Um, but putting that aside, uh, I haven't actually had time to look at any of the replays sent by you guys. And if you can't tell, my voice is kind of gone from all the screaming and yelling. Uh, that I did uh, because uh, Seahawks won yesterday. And man, if you guys want to see some of the highlights, you should actually watch um, what, uh, that guy Marshawn Lynch breaking seven tackles. That was probably the most epic, most epic thing I've I've seen in a while in football. But besides the point, I'm going to bring you a replay on Shakur's plateau uh, with Liquid Hux, who's going to be spotting at the top right corner um, as the blue Protoss. And Im Junwi Permi, I think he meant to spell Prime. Um, he is probably from the Prime House, but um, it looks like he actually went for a very early spawning pool, if I'm not mistaken. This is, um, what is this? Two, two four, six, eight. Maybe, um, maybe a seven pool. I'm not sure, actually. Seven or eight pool. But he's getting that pool up really early. Maybe for some early aggression, but it looks like um, Huck is going to be scouting. And for those of you who don't know, Huck is actually one of the best Protoss players I think that is out there. He's extremely good. He has such creative ideas. Very solid player. And apparently, according to Liquid Red, who is also on the same team as Huck, Huck practices like 14 hours a day non-stop. He just, he just plays this game like no other. From the looks of it, it looks like a forge and a gateway is going up, so nothing... Um, so that's actually pretty unorthodox. You can see that too often. And as well as another gateway. It's a different looking production type here. Two zero things will be coming out um, for. Um, I'll just call him Junwi. 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 Or M. I think M's easier. I'll call him M. But he hasn't gotten that gas yet. He doesn't actually have that many. Um, that many drones. So it looks like he's going for some really early aggression. Um, but Huck, being the great player he is, he is getting that forge um, to wall off. Wolof's Tramp um, and getting that photo can. So these Zerglings are not going to be able to do anything really. They're just going to come up here, see that forge. And once this kind of warps in, these Zerglings are going to have to back off because they will die. Nick and Duck's being smart, putting a pylon in the back here to see um, if these rocks are going to be break, uh, broken down. Queen is going to be coming out for Junwi. Let's take a quick look at uh, the APM tab. Wow, look at these players' APM. So high. Their average is 248. Um, so there is that amazing Korean APM, as well as Huck, um, having an extremely high APM. Looks like Azela is going to be out, as well as the cannon, so th those, um, the Zerglings will be warded away. But they did do, um, a little bit of damage to that forge, so we're going to have to look, look at that in the future, in case that forge does end up going down. Um, looks like nothing too crazy is going on, um, Jun Im, I'm just going to call him Im, <laughs> Im is going to be droning up really hard, as well as getting his expansion. Um, unfortunately, this early aggression didn't really work out for him, so he's just going to have a ton of Zerglings on the field doing um, pretty much some scouting for um, for him. Uh, I feel like Huck really is not doing much either. He does have he's, he is hiding a cyber core in the back here, um, getting warp gates, so we might see some kind of push um, sometime soon in the game. Liquid Huck just training some more probes as well, um, and wow, look at that. Reaction. He, this queen only has three energy. Been injecting very well. I'm doing a great job at that. And let's just take a look at the player cam. And see how fast these players are actually moving. <laughs> so their screens are scre screens. Screens are pretty jittery. If you can't tell. I'm pretty sure they have um, very high um, uh, mouse sensitivity as well. From the looks of it, it looks like both players are going to be macroing up, so it looks like we are going to be gearing up to watch a very big macro game, and Liquid Hug actually often to break down his um, forge because he's not going to be able to get out. So he actually breaks that down, um, no problem though, because it looks like he's not really going to be using that forge. Maybe later on he'll build another one, but he is going to be trying to push out. Um, he's getting a lot of sentries as well to block up the ramp in case Zerglings do come up, and Liquid Hug now often to get that expansion. Our yeah, he is probably going to be getting that expansion. From the looks of it, um, getting a spine crawler as well, so uh, making sure that his uh, expansion is going to be protected. Im so far only has a spawning pool, so he doesn't really have anything in particular. It looks like Nexus is going to, go going to be going up. Zerglings are going to be trying to attack it, but these zealots will be warding them off. Um, so unfortunate uh, that these zerglings can't do much. 
Nice Overlord placement by him right here. Um, seeing the timing of this expansion, you'll actually know when the pros are coming down and mining. And maybe that's when um, M will strike. But for the time being, he's just going to be macroing up, as well as getting another queen, as well as building a ton more spine crawlers. Because he does see this menacing force coming. Looks like zealots and sentries. That is a pretty, uh, pretty good build against uh, Zerg players, especially if they're going mass Zerglings. And those those sentry. Oh, actually, if you look at the production tab here, Huck, Huck is getting hallucinations. So this is um something you don't see too often. Maybe he is getting um he's going to be hallucinating phoenixes to scout all along the map. That's a pretty popular thing to do. Um, it looks like Im is going to be breaking down the back rocks here to grab this expansion in the middle. Uh, and yeah, more zerglings just scouting around. Nice overload placement on the ledge uh, where these units will not be able to see it. From the looks of it, it looks like he, uh, Huffy is going to be getting another forge as well um, for the one he broke down. Doesn't seem to be chrono boosting out the hallucination, so um, we're probably going to see that later in the game. We're going to be warping in some stalkers as well. Speed is now going up for him, as well as a layer, so um, we'll see what he goes. I, I'm hoping, um, actually, against this mix, Yuna's actually would be pretty, pretty devastating. Um, but whoa, actually, losing an overload there. So M's going to be a little supply block there, nothing, nothing too big though, I'm sure he'll be able to build right back up, building still working on the back. And yeah, like I was saying, it looks like Hook is going to be getting those Phoenix to scout um, all over the map to see if there's any hidden expansions, um, if M is trying to do anything sneaky, but he really isn't, he's just kind of laying back map ring hard. Uh, let's take a look actually at the Harvester tab here, and M, um, knowing there isn't going to be too much aggression, um, He's actually building a lot of spine crawlers to make up for his lack of units. He actually, he actually has so many harvesters, 58 under 39, so that's quite a bit of harvesters. Looks like it's going to be getting that plus one <coughs> ground upgrade. And I think I think he's going to do some kind of timing push once this is close to finishing. He'll move out and try to attack. And, um, any good player can tell if Phoenix are hallucinated because you'll notice that your overlord won't be taking any damage. So. Gotta keep an eye out for that. Man, he is just going crazy with these spine crawlers, building a lot. Maybe overracking just a little bit um, due to lack of scouting, but now he's actually gonna be coming up with Zerglings to see if he actually does have anything. Um, and seeing if actually Huck got some kind of secret expansion. Good scouting on his part, um, but he's gonna see that there actually is no scouting, or there actually is no um, base here. But um, Im is gonna be getting that third expansion now. Uh, so Huck, Huck actually. Um, to do a little bit of damage now, or um, or M could do, uh, can, M could get a pretty significant um, economy boost by getting this third up. But Huck is going to be scouting that out because he is such a good player. Seeing that as well, and M actually did off against Hydras, and that is a great unit choice against Protoss because Hydras do so much damage against any gateway units, Stalkers, Zealots, um, and and um, Sentries. Wow! So M is actually getting another expansion, a fourth expansion. So. This could be pretty dangerous. Huck is actually closing the gap in Harvesters, but um, it looks like he is going to be moving out to do some damage because he sees that um, he is going to be expanding. Him is going to be expanding a lot. And also getting Mutas. So I missed that on the production time. Looks like Im is getting Mutas as well as Hydras. Um, but the problem with this is um, the Hydras are going to be very exposed um, if those force fields are able to go up and the Zealots are able to go into close proximity with those Hydras. So those Hydras could go down quickly. But... Um, actually, these meters um, might be able to uh, be enough distraction, uh, and Hug might not be able to concentrate too well. But it looks like some some are going to be engaged, but they're going to need to back off because that is a lot. And some nice force fields going down, trapping in some of those zerglings. Let's see some harass going on by these meters. It looks like a robot facility is going to be going up, and so those hydras are going to be very exposed if not careful. So I'm not sure if he's actually opting to get a roach one. A roach one would be a very good thing to get. Observer is now out for Hug. Uh, looks like a few probes are going to be going down, but a bunch of stalkers are going to be coming off to ward, ward this off. Let's take a look at the Harvester tab here. Yeah, only picking off a couple of probes um, and softening up some of them, but nothing too detrimental. Um, and he, wow, getting five, another expansion. So he, now he's on five base, not actually not quite five base, but soon five base. So Huck actually needs to expand there, do some kind of damage quickly, or he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Looks like he's going to be going for um, either Blink Stalkers or Zealot Speed. I'm going to assume Blink Stalkers because, yeah, he's getting Blink now. Um, because those mutants will be doing a lot of damage. Um, 
and someone is rattling my door <laughs> while I'm casting the game. Um, so, yeah, that's gonna be a little funny. Templar Archive is going on, so we might actually see some mid game Dark Templar if I'm not mistaken. Oh, a lot of damage is going on. He's gonna be engaging in the front with his army while moving his meters in the back to do a little bit of damage. I don't know how many kills he's actually now, but he's trying to take down that Templar Archive before. Um, the Greek research is up, and he actually does take it down before the Greek is up, so great for his part. Looks like a lot of sentries and, um, and the Colossi were gonna move out, but, um, this, they decided to move back, maybe to intercept this leader force. <laughs> Those are a lot of stalkers, unfortunately, we do not have three, uh, because Im was able to take out that Templar archive, or that Twilight Council is actually on side. So that was a great, great play on his part. He is rebuilding that Twilight Council right now. Um, to get those blink stalkers as well as getting ex his expansion but actually M is on five base against a three base protoss so M is actually significantly ahead if you even look at the production tab here or, i mean the harvester tab yeah look at the mineral income he's getting two thousand a lot more than um a lot more than huck so huck actually needs to do some kind of damage now or he's going to be in a lot of trouble a lot of teams are going to be up in the back so these leaders won't be able to do too much um too much harass to these pros as well as Hopefully he's bringing up some soccers. Yeah, he's going to be bringing up soccers as well as Templar. Possibly a storm. But these probes actually need to go up because um, these are plus one units. They do a lot of damage. And the cannons are actually taking down. And the soccers are now going to be coming in. But the but the mutas are now going to be warded off. I actually have a group of people in this room. So, pretty fun. Nice attack by M here. Um, seeing that he's going to get this expansion, his third expansion. Doing a bit of damage, um, trying to take down these cannons before they go up. Um, now seeing the Colossi is out, these Zerglings are now going to be backing out. Man, look at the Harvester tab. 83 over 39, or under 39. So, um, M, M actually has a lot more Harvesters. He is way ahead right now. And he got a lot of Spine Crawlers, actually. I don't know if he really need to get that much. So it looks like he's going for a Lady Yuda right now. I don't see any Hydra list coming out in play. He does have an infestation pit up, so we could probably see some late infestor play. But from the looks of it, nothing too amazing right now. That is a lot of mutalists, so <laughs> if he <laughs> if he if he if he decides to do some harass, he could do a lot of damage. These cannons are now going up, and this mutal is gonna see that. Um, so these probes are actually pretty exposed. Huck needs to move out, but he can't because those mutas um, give this Zerg army such mobility. So he's going to be able to go out, harass, as well as attack with these Zerglings when um, Huck is least is expecting it. I don't know if Huck even sees this um, expansion up here. I mean, Huck doesn't see this expansion as well as the one up here. <laughs> so he thinks he's facing a 3 base uh, Zerg. Instead, he's actually facing a 5 base Zerg. So this is a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble for, for Huck. And I actually don't know why he's rallying all his Lings. Why M is rallying all his Lings here. Maybe he is expecting some kind of attack. Um, but nothing too much in this. And getting these meters need to watch out for the storms. 